Almost a year ago, we have bought an old Mercedes to see if it would be possible to add 3D printed rims to it. I modified the standard Creality printer for this purpose. We did some tests and it's a beautiful day to put a 3D printed rim under a car. Een stukje naar voren. Verder, 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 Should we wear eye, prote eye protection? Ear protection? Oh, kijk! Huh? We're at one boss right now. Yeah, this, this is a lot. Um, I'm a lot more anxious than uh, last time we blew it up. Especially because I've repaired this rim. Ah, oh, Terry, ik vind het toch wel spannender dan ik had verwacht. Ja, ik ook. Um, at what pressure should we should we pressurize it? At two. Two bars? Yeah. Okay. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> this is good, jongen. Is 1.5 enough? No. Um, <laughs> uh, it feels pretty solid. No. It should be able to handle four. Five. Five. Okay, 1.8. Two bars. Okay. No! What the door? The inserts uh, failed. Oh man, it's completely pressurized. Yeah, but this sick ass rim like this wheel. Yeah. So look at it. All stretched out. Man, people are jealous. Jealous of this kind of stretch, man. <laughs> it's just... Oh. Well, look at it. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty obvious concern. <laughs> oh, stick my face in there. What the fuck? Well, at least everything is done safely, because even if it blows up... Well... I'm still alive. Talking about safety. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN creates a secure connection to a server of your choice located in almost 60 countries. This makes browsing on a public Wi-Fi a lot more secure because nobody wants to get owned by some script kitty who thinks he is the next Mr. Robot. NordVPN is hella fast, which I've tried for myself, and it's available on most operating systems, browsers, and even OpenWRT if you're a power user. Besides being safer, especially when using Onion over VPN or Double VPN for that extra encryption, it can place you anywhere on the world virtually. This means getting access to locally restricted content, for instance, watching your favorite Netflix shows that aren't available in your country. So check out nordvpn.com slash properprinting and get one month free on their two-year plan with a 30 day money back guarantee. Thanks NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Okay, you can say it. You guys were right. The inserts weren't the best option. It's also not possible to add nuts in there. My very first attempt failed due to the nuts. So I thought inserts is my only solution. 
until I received this comment from Jenny Smith suggesting that I should use threaded rods all the way through but like rebar so gluing them in this was due to my video about dissolving ABS and MEK but do we have enough room to put the threaded rods almost all the way through and gluing them in the back side because I also print with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle in order to find that out Point has sent me their 3D scanner I've 3D scanned the brake caliper so I can import the brake caliper into Fusion 360 to see if everything fits and this is the result I could have done a better job but for me the most important part was the hub and this brake caliper here if we do a section analysis here this is the thickest part of the caliper you can see that there is some room here I made it as thick as possible still with a bit of tolerance left but I can't make it thicker than this I, I can't print this bigger with a bigger tire because my printer isn't bigger well it is a 500 by 500 millimeter build plate but I reduced it to 420 millimeters due to the tubing chain I had to re to shave off a few millimeters of this rim in order to make it printable on that printer this is fully maxed out with the stuff that I have here so let's see if it fits this is the new hole for the threaded rod and I had to put it at an angle I must say I'm quite confident that this might work and I've printed out the back part again it's uh, it's quite a solid print it's even heavier it's 2.8 kilos <laughs> of ABS but I think that if I'm going to put the threaded rods in here I don't know what else there is to do besides using stronger materials let's, let's just just Even slide hoor. <laughs> Jezus. Ja, hier. Het is net als Formule 1, toch? Dan moeten ze ook even eerst een rondje. Ja, dat zit je strak. Ja. Oh ja, zo, zo. Ja. <laughs> Oké. Okay. So, how are you feeling uh, about. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> nee. <laughs> What do you think, Daniel? Will it hold the weight? I'm also not too confident. I don't know. I think this is not a problem. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Huh? Nothing. I'm just uh, considering my own safety. Okay. But, uh... <laughs> Are you uh, contemplating or? Uh... Um, I'm not sure. It feels like it's it's from it's not on the jack anymore. 
Hilly. It's just standing. Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's holding the weight of the car. What the fuck? This is bijna saai man. Yeah. Oh, helemaal niks. Ja, inderdaad. Dus dus echt wel anticlimactisch. <laughs> nou, de burn nou met dat ding. Gas met dat ding. <laughs> Seatbelts on. Safety first, kids. Oh, dat is mijn microfoon. By the way, Hollyland, thanks for your wireless microphone. The Lark 150, it's ideal. I could just plug it on here. Daniel has, a, has one microphone on his shirt and it. It's easy, just clip them on. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I can feel this, man. Oh. Okay. There isn't much room on that rim left. <laughs> <laughs> that, that rim is completely maxed out, but we have done the first meters in this car. How is everything looking, uh, Daniel? It's looking fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's make the turn. On the 3D printed wheel. <laughs> Shall I step it up a notch? Uh, yeah, I think you should try it. I'm going to check how well this, uh, how well it breaks. Okay. Shall I go full as as fast as I can and just hit the brake? Yeah, let's try that. I'm gonna stand over there, alright? Okay. Is it holding up? Yeah. It's fine. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, I want to see this. You're going to drive it. <laughs> All right. I hope it will break here. Do you know what it means if it doesn't break? And then we can abuse it even more. I thought it was front wheel drive and it's a rear wheel drive. So you want to put it in the back? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> now we can drift with that. Uh... Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> okay. Leave an honest comment. Who of you thought we would make it this far already? Take a burnout. Oh, as he dan gaat, dat zal wel een tering herrie zijn, zeg. Yep. This has a smaller caliper. So it would definitely fit on here without any problems. All right. Uh, windscreen. No. Work that by the cutting. Okay. There we go. Shall I do a burnout or just test first? Burnout. What the fuck? <laughs> a 3D printed rim. And I'm not even delicate with it. So I will try it a few more times until it breaks. I'm getting frustrated. Do you mind me trying a proper burnout? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. No, I don't. 
<laughs> Holy shit! Oh, if this doesn't prove it, then I don't know what will. <laughs> I'm going to do a break here at the gravel, so I have more traction. I can't see shit through the windshield. <laughs> It smells. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I went to second gear this time. Okay. I'm just gonna take this one away now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was wondering. I, I if wasn't uh, prepared for this. No, not <laughs> at all. Um, I'm in doubt. We can do more tests on, um, well, not on the open road, but on a well, secluded road. Secluded road. <laughs> but we have to put it on a trailer because it's not road legal anymore. Well, it, it holds fine and I promise to, to print three more. But I also wanted to continue with my other projects. It feels, it feels satisfying, but also not satisfying because I, we haven't found the... Uh, we haven't found the limits yet. I ran through all my filament, by the way. So I have to thank 3 d makers for sending that huge amount of filament, ABS filament. It's uh, strong enough to hold the weight of a car while driving not too carefully with it. That's pretty nice. And of course, thanks to my top tier Patreon supporters. Your support helps a lot with these projects. I thought it was ending here. And that the conclusion would be, no, it's not possible. But um, yet here we are. So we don't have a lot of traction here. So maybe when we do it on um, asphalt, then it can go way different, but right now I can't put it on asphalt. Now I'd say this is the end of the video. Cool. <laughs> I still can't believe this actually. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Holy fuck.